I think it's important to make a distinction between formal democratic involvement and informal democratic involvement. So what we've been talking about a lot so far is this formal democratic involvement. Health watch, people represented on boards and so on. And we have seen how undemocratic the NHS has been and how much more unaccountable it's becoming. So through Parliament, we have managed to have a Health and Social Care Act for whom, for which nobody voted. We have STPs that are taking over the country for which nobody has any sight of what's going on. It is actually becoming more and more risky in the NHS, less and less accountable. Um, and so the point I was trying to make was that um, we do need these formal accountable processes. I'm not suggesting for a moment that we don't. But I think there is a huge space for, and we need on the left to think about, um, these informal ways in which communities and individuals can make a difference to the kind of care we have. So we have um, GPs here, Katie for instance, who's been working for many years involving local people in their, GP, in their surgery, in developing services, in, in um, shaping the kind of care locally. And those are the kinds of things that we should also take very seriously um, and think about how we want to integrate them into the NHS going forward.